Okay guys, we're up um we're up kind of bright and early today. There's the moon. A little foggy out there today. We got an agenda today that we're doing here. And today the agenda is is I don't know a lot of you followers are American that are following me. Uh, there are some Canadians. For the last two years we've dealt with a thing called COVID. And it's been up and down, up and down. And uh, I've never said once I don't believe in COVID. I said I thought it was real. I think it's worse than the flu. But I've also said that I don't believe there's a reason for it to be a pandemic. Anyway, with that being said, I'm not a naysayer and I'm not a yaysayer, okay? So it doesn't matter. But what's going on today in Canada for the Americans that they don't know is they're just overruling us. We gotta have a vax pass to go to restaurants, to bars, to go to gyms. We can't do literally anything. We can't do nothing. In order to get that, you gotta have two shots, and now they're giving out boosters, booster here, booster there. It's just never ending. It's never ending. There's some places even uh, back where they're, they're trying to make it so you need a Vax Pass to go to the liquor store. Um, anyway, the truckers have united, and they said they're putting an end to it, to all mandates. They want it done. And uh, I thought this would be a pretty cool video. They're leaving North Delta at 7 a.m. and they're rolling around. They should be rolling through Chilliwack around, I would think. It's a good hour and a half away, and around an hour and a half away, and it's a huge convoy. They figure that there's going to be 150,000 truckers in Ottawa. I don't know how many trucks that's going to be, but I'm going to think that's going to be like it's got to be over. 150,000 truckers, I mean, they're going in all their semis, plus they're going in cars and pickups. They've got signs all down the side of it, stop the mandates. But yet, with that being said, the news posted nothing about it until a couple days ago. And you know what the news says? The news says the truckers are going on a convoy because of bad road conditions. But that's not what they're doing. If you look all over Facebook, you look all over everywhere, it says on there, stop the mandates. Um, it says to our Prime Minister, F you to our Prime Minister, everything. That's what it's all about. They've raised over $2 million on a GoFundMe page. Plus they have another account thing somewhere else, a money raising thing they're raising money on. And they're going back there and they ain't doing nothing. And without truckers, you're screwed. You ain't getting gas, you ain't getting food, you ain't getting supplies. I don't care if you're the king, the queen, the prime minister, the president. Those boys there, they're the ones that bring us everything. And what are you going to do? If you turn around and you say, well, let's call in Johnny Law and let's arrest him or let's bring in the army. Because you'd have to. 150,000 truckers are going to be in Ottawa by the 29th. If you say, let's bring in the law, what's the law going to do? If the law is going to arrest them, it's not going to help. Because who's going to go drive the trucks to get the products that we need anyway? No one. So you ain't going to arrest them either. You ain't going to do fucking shit. But anyway, I want to see this convoy. We're going to film it and we're going to show you it coming through the Fraser Valley. Good on the truckers. It's time for this to come to an end. It's been two years now. Two solid years. It was okay when it first came out. We're like, hey, we got to deal with this situation. Get your shots. Do what you got to do if you feel safe getting a shot. Do what you want to do. That's all fine. I've got friends that got shots. I've got friends that don't have shots. I don't judge. We party every night. We were partying last night. But anyway, just this whole everything. You can't go nowhere. You can't do nothing. It's bullshit. It's time for an end. So let's check the situation out on the freeway. That's all it's about today. It's not about arguing. It's not about anything. It's just let's go watch a good old convoy. Okay.
Я не пошел, не пошел.
Okay, so there you have it folks, that's um, wasn't tons of semis, but you have to remember every single car and truck and motorhome that was honking on there are truck drivers. Obviously I'm not taking their trucks, but there's a lot of semis. Um, they say there's going to be 150,000 truckers there in Ottawa. There's going to be over 5,000 trucks. It's time to end the mandates. You see the pictures they're posting on the trucks, that's what it's about. Um, it's so funny because if you look at the news right now, the news is saying that the truckers are on the road and doing a convoy for bad road conditions. But yet, look at the trucks in the pictures I just filmed you. It says all about mandates. It says F you to our Prime Minister. It says all sorts of stuff. Who, by the way, has um, now said that the GoFundMe page uh, should be stopped. They've earned over $2 million because they have to pay their way. He wants it stopped, claiming that we're terrorists. And he also has called in the army. I am dead serious. He's called in the army now. So. Just turn off your TV, don't watch the news, watch, and don't watch what you see on Facebook either that's written down. You want to actually watch the live feed videos and get the truth. That's what you want to see. But anyway, it's time. It's coming to an end. Without truckers, you're screwed. You can't do nothing. It don't matter if you call the army, the cops, no matter who you call, you can't do nothing. Somebody has to drive these trucks and supplies and stuff. That's the bottom line. So hell yeah.